Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord to everyone. Praise the Lord. 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 Thank God. Thank God Lady P was able to play that selection over. Thank God for that. Um, my Bishop Larry Trotter. My worship is for real. Glory to God. Thank God. Beautiful selection. Thank God. Thank God. He said, Lord, if you do, if you do nothing else for me, yeah. enough. Glory to God. He had done so much. He had done more than enough. But glory to God. Again, we thank God for each and every one. Thank God for being with us this, this, tonight. Thank God for another Bible class. Thank God for, for allowing to keep us throughout all from, from the last time we met. Glory to God. But God is doing great and mighty things. And again, we're looking for a beautiful uh Bible class tonight, and we have, it's going to be another exciting one. Glory to God. Oh, uh, my God. And I was talking with someone about for us a lesson, and they were saying, oh, my God, man, I, you know, he, he would love to be here if he didn't have his, his uh, Bible class going on right now. He loves, he loves uh, the direction it's going. He loves it. And so uh, he would just say, tell all the saints, you know, to praise the Lord, but glory to God. But again, we thank God for allowing us to be here one more time. Mm -hmm. And that the person that was that was Elder uh, Elder Dante, Elder Dante, glory to God. He said, "Praise the Lord to all the saints." Glory to God. But yes, but we were talking to him earlier, and we had a great conversation going over for us some of the topics that we have right here, and he was in, and just enjoying. And then he he met, he mentioned a couple of them his, himself as well. And he was like, man, <laughs> so uh, he was in conversation could have kept on going. So again, we thank God for, for that, for my brother. Thank God for you know, his, him and his wife and his church. Thank God for, uh, for them and the Lord continue to bless them. But saints of God, I thank God for each and each and every one. Thank God again for an opportunity for us to come together. Thank God for what he is doing. Uh, we, you know, we, we just want to continue to keep uh, different uh, ones up in prayer, the f different families, the bereaved families. Uh, we want to continue to keep up uh, everyone, whether the ones that we know from near and far, keep them up in prayer. Uh, we want to continue uh, of course, praying for our president, for the for the leadership that's up that's, that's going forth, that's um, making a lot of uh, decisions. Lord God, keep them in prayer. Not just not just on a national level, but on our state and local levels, that you know the Lord continue to uh, help them make decisions. And of course, we want to keep all our our sister and brother, our, our fellowship churches, keep all them up in prayer. You know, for as the Lord will continue to guide and direct and lead us all. So much, so we it's so much going on as we know, and it's it's not just you know for us here in California, but it's everywhere. A lot going on, but we thank God for keeping us. Thank God for covering us. Thank God for 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 uh, for looking out for us, not just for us, for our families and everyone that is connected with us, but we just thank God what He continues to do. But again, we thank God for each and every one that's here, and the ones that's gonna come on later, and, and we just looking for another beautiful lesson tonight. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you tonight, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Lord, for another opportunity to come together, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Lord, for allowing us to be able to not just come together, but open up the word of God. And, Lord God, we get an understanding what does says, O oh Lord. Lord God, we ask that you continue to look over uh, for the families, O oh Lord, to so continue, O oh Lord, to, to heal, continue, O oh Lord, to comfort, continue, O oh Lord, to strengthen, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we ask that you look over ones that are, have ailments in their bodies, O oh Lord, that are not feeling well. We ask that you continue, O oh Lord, to heal, deliver, and set them free, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we ask you to save ones that need to be saved. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we just thank you for every opportunity that you give us. We thank you, O oh Lord, for all this, for even when you, like I said, when you woke us up this morning, you gave us strength in our bodies, O oh Lord. You gave us a mind to want to be able to come together tonight, O oh Lord. And we thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you for all that, you, that you're that doing and what you continue to do, O oh Lord. Lord God, we ask that you bless our Bible class tonight, O oh Lord. Bless our teacher, O oh Lord. We ask, O oh Lord, that you continue, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, to open our understanding with the, of the word of God. Lord God, we thank you, O oh Lord, for allowing us to be able to see, O oh Lord, phrases and different 
things that were said. And Lord God, even though, Lord God, these things were said and, and it wasn't in, 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 for us to hurt, but it was things that were said, but it wasn't in the Bible. And we thank you for allowing us to be able to come together to get an understanding, hallelujah, what those phrases mean, and Lord God, and what it means in your word, oh Lord, hallelujah. So Lord God, we thank you and we praise you, oh Lord. We ask it, oh Lord, that you just continue, oh Lord, the governors, oh Lord, continue, oh Lord, to heal and deliver. Continue to help us to be all that you're calling to be. And we ever give you the honor, we ever give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Glory to God. Our scripture tonight is coming from Proverbs 4 and verse 7. It said, wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And it says, with all thy getting, get an understanding. Glory to God. And that's what we're able to do tonight uh, through our lesson. For as, it would, as we come together, it says, with all our getting, get an understanding. And we have said earlier, there have been phrases that have been said and different things that have been said. Glory to God. And so this is what is, so now, like I said, thank God for the wisdom that he gave us. But with all our getting, we get an understanding of what these phrases mean. Glory to God. We have heard them throughout from generation to generation, but now we find out some of them are not biblically. And now we are able to come together and look at and find out what those phrases mean and where were they originated from. And now we have, so we can get an understanding. Glory to God, my God. But again, we thank God for each and every one. Thank God for what he continues to do. We have one more worship selection. Then we can get ready to go into our Bible class. Glory to God. Lord, glory. Thank God. Oh my God. God blocked it. Glory to God. My God, my God. Aren't you glad God blocked it? Glory to God. There's so many different things that, hallelujah, that was going on and God blocked it. Glory to God. Stepped in and blocked it, kept it from even coming to part to pass. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we thank God for another worship selection. Thank God for but what he continued, thank God for blocking it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We got a beautiful selection, a beautiful lesson coming up here. And this is like, this has been great. The lessons, every one of them been great. And this is another phrase that you're getting ready to see. Glory to God. That's it's really, yes, that's not in the Bible. <laughs> Glory to God. Hey, my God. So I just turn, turn, turn the hands of Lady P at this time. And we're getting ready to start our Bible class lesson. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise That's the Lord. a testimony. God blocked it. <laughs> I know we have witnesses all over the line and we can just unmute and just say hallelujah. You know, hallelujah. Because hallelujah. Hallelujah. He blocked it. Yes. And it carried hallelujah. a lot of things. But God blocked yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. Glory to God. And we yeah. bless the Lord on today yes. for all that he's done he wouldn't let it be so glory to god the devil meant it for evil and whatever came upon us or whatever came around us whatever god allowed the 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 the, the uh uh when you say the devil meant it for evil but god meant it's it for good, good. Yes. glory to god but it turned out back in the devil's face and said uh-huh you thought you had me glory to god you thought that was going to work but it was for my good Hi, yeah, yeah, the joke's yeah. on you, devil. Hallelujah. Yeah. When you keep trying to bring stuff, glory to God. And then it turns out in my favor. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. And we just love the Lord for yes, that. Yes. I praise God on today, giving honor to God, the pastor, all the saints, Pastor Ford, Lady Ford. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. God bless Thank you for joining us. And yes. to all those that will be joining later or seeing this later, God bless you. And thank you for uh, tuning in. Praise God. We just have um, been just been enjoying the Lord and enjoying the Bible class in this informative Bible class. Yes. And yet he's blessing our soul. Yes. He's yes. giving us information and yet blessing our soul. Yes. So when you see here, we are, we are, we are, uh, uh, there was, uh, 
It's coming. Uh, the inspiration is from this book that said it's not in the Bible. But then I added the really because we grew up with a lot of sayings and we like really that wasn't there. And so God has just given us this information. And and as we said, uh, Pastor was saying it is not to tell nobody don't be saying that and we rebuking you and and all this kind of stuff. That's not what we're doing. We're just trying to be informed yes. because we don't want to be out there just just talking and saying things and God, we, you know what, as you uh, know better, you do better. As you go get mature in God, you start learning things. We are supposed to build on our foundation. So we, are, what we're doing is just building on the foundation that was already laid and getting more insight into what uh, um, things that have been said. And we, you, we know Hosea four and six, and I'm just doing a brief, just a real brief overview, Pastor Paul, and, um, just to bring y'all, catch y'all up, um, just to give you the subject matters of what we have already discussed. Um, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. We don't want to find ourselves rejecting knowledge, people of God. Let's just pray that we don't find ourselves rejecting knowledge. Glory to God. When God is allowing us to get it, let's get it because it's going to bless us. and It's going to take us higher in him. Um, and, and we, like we stated before, where this book was, it was written by Lamonte McNeese, PhD. And I want to make sure we give him the cred credit because we're not trying to plagiarize nothing. We ain't trying to do anything like that. So the credit goes to this writer that brought the, brought the subject matter to life. But God has just been giving us more and more insight um, even in what we are reading in the book. Uh, but our purpose for this lesson is to get food for thought, to start dialogue. We're not trying to prove anybody wrong. It's just to inform, enlighten, and inspire, uh, um, bring awareness, uh, be mindful of what we say and how we say it. We can't always use the phrase the Bible says. We can say the Bible teaches or it implies, or this is what he gave me out of this. But some things we can't say the Bible says because there's somebody else listening and hanging on to every word we say. And then they're gonna go to the Bible and be trying to find it and trying to find it and they say well they weren't telling the truth the bible that's not and we don't want to be found in that position because when god is trying to draw somebody we don't want to be found in the position where they think we're lying or they think we're making up something we think they think that we're just giving our opinion for on the word of god we want to be found just being truthful and and in what if god has enlightened us then we can just say god has enlightened us if god has inspired you be inspired but we can't always say the bible says Okay, um, our purpose, like we said, we, we just want to speak the same thing and have a better understanding of things as we grow in grace together. And um, we, we talked about how some phrases come from uh, their cliches, some of them slogans, some of them are unbiblical, some of them are what we call a term Christianese. It's like the Ebonics of, of church folks. You know, we can be in the church saying certain things, but outside the church, we go outside the church and say that. And people look at us like, what are they talking about? And and Brother Troy had gave a perfect example when we say ram in the bush. And we all said out at work saying, man, that was the ram in the bush. Somebody look at us crazy because we talking Christianese, like Christian Ebonics, and don't nobody know what we're talking about. So outside of our circles, some of these things, the perks people don't understand. And we want to talk with and say things where somebody can understand it or get a revelation of it. Okay. And then we got some examples here. Um, let go and let God, things like that. And so some of our topics that we went over, and I'm just going to brush right through them, uh, come as you are. We got some clarity on that and who where it come from and how it was said. So these are past. You can go back and see our other um our other um, YouTube uh, class videos, and then we, you can go more in depth in that. So we had to come as you are, okay? Um, we went over, let's see, going through. We had don't claim it. We got a better understanding of, of things not to claim. When we the fur the verbiage don't claim it. What what we're talking about and when we say don't claim it is when something is already there. We're not pretending we can't 
pretend like it's not there. If I have a cold or if I have the flu, and no used to me saying, don't claim it, but I can get healed from it. I can ask the Lord to uh, move it. I can even at the be, you know, at the onset, or even if God has given me a revelation um, going forward with it, I can rebuke it before it come. If, if through discernment and God, God didn't prophesy somebody and prophesied or, or the Lord let me know protect yourself from this or this and that, then you through discernment, you can rebuke it. You can, you know, we gave here the things you can do. You can pray about it. You can resist it. You can treat it. You can get healed from it. So we're talking about, you know, people have said things like, you know, you're getting older, you got arthritis, you got arthritis, you just got arthritis. But to say, I'm not going to claim arthritis and arthritis is crippling your fingers. No, treat it, do what you got to do with it, because sometimes we'll be just saying things and then we don't take care of it. God gives us the wisdom how to take care of it, but we just sit up here making these statements that's not in the Bible, okay? And we're not talking about um, as far as death and life is in the power of the tongue. Those are not the things we're talking about when we're saying don't claim it. So that's just giving you a... Uh, um, uh, uh, overview of what we're talking about there because we know the Bible says is there any sick among you let him call for the elders of the church not ignore it and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up and if he have committed sins they shall be forgiven him and and we went over different scenarios of what that looks like and so then we went over name it and claim it. That's not in the Bible. That was a song, okay, by the Clark sisters. So we we went through we went through that, and it came through the Word of Faith movement, and 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 we really read what uh, a commentary from another pastor that talks about what that movement was looking like and what it was ushering in and then how it was weakening people because it was just this this thing coming in where people just thinking they could just oh name in and claim it there that took away faith that took away right living it took away all these things for this new generation coming in and then now they can't stand they don't think they have to struggle they don't think they have to go they don't think they have to be persecuted they don't think they have to be disciplined because they could just name stuff and it's supposed to just happen but then when it don't happen now something is wrong with you you're not living right see now they done took away what faith looks like so we know that's not scriptorial but we got to understand it of the naming and claiming we're not talking about speaking those things as though they were we are talking about the name it and claim it and so then we went further on and we looked at pray my strength in the lord and we got an understanding of how do we get strength in the lord because we what we realize is that if it was just as easy as everybody stand in line and we pray our strength in the Lord, we can put oil on everybody. And here it says we the altar lines will become shorter and shorter every week because we'll just be putting strength on everybody. There'll be no more sinners, no more liars. You know, if we if we can do that, man, we'll just be standing every every day with a long line and this world will be better. Glory to God. But the promises of God, uh, 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 there are promises of God uh, that, but they're conditional. Those things are, some things are conditional. We have to understand his love is unconditional, but his promises carry conditions. So there's, there's ways to get strength in the Lord. He, the Bible tells you how to get your strength in the Lord. Uh, praise God. So we, we want, one of it is the joy of the Lord is my strength. And then we're here, we have in 2 Corinthians 12, 9 and 10, said and he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. So different things, uh, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. I can't just just praying on you sometimes you just gotta wait so it can be renewed and then you'll mount up with wings as eagles and run and not be weary 
Glory to God. So there's a there's a lot of things that comes with getting your strength. I'm not telling you don't say pray for me. I'm not telling you do don't keep asking me to pray that we wait. We still going to pray for each other. We're not going to stop praying for each other. We're not going to stop praying that God gives you strength, that God gives your mind and gives you what to do. But we are praying that you yield to get what it needs to get or do what you need to do to get your strength. Praise God. So that that's what we're doing. Uh, uh, we can pray for you, but in order to get your strength, you're going to have to do some things like intentional growing. You're going to have to uh, learn. Glory to God. Loving God. It's saints. You're going to have to love. Glory to God. Fellowshipping with the body. That's some ways where you can get some strength because we're edified by each other. Putting on the whole armor, I guarantee you, you'll get some strength. You start putting on that armor. Glory to God. Waiting on the Lord. That there go, there you go. You're going to renew it. Resisting the devil so he can flee. You'll get some strength in that area. And after you've done all of this stuff, you got to stand. You got to stand. So there's something that comes along with you having to wait on the strength or have, or you having to participate in God giving you strength. Praise God, you have strength to stand. Then uh, um, we going forward, um, our next one, we, we talked about cleanliness and next to godliness. And you know, we, we <laughs> I know I've used this and then, and so, but we wanted to let you know for the record, nothing is next to God. Okay. It's not scriptorial. It's a good thing though. It's a, it's, it's a good thing because I just don't understand if, if he wants your temple clean, if he wants the inside of you clean, if he wants to, to be inside of you and he, when he does and he do all, he done did all this on the cross to clean you up, to clean you from your sins. And yet, all the outside of you is dirty all the every in your space is dirty all this kind of stuff that don't match to me the inside should be reflective on the outside so it should somewhere along the line there should be a connection there praise god but it's still not in the bible okay that phrase is still not in the bible okay and and just my thoughts, if he wants cleanliness for his church, the inside is supposed to be reflective on the outside. Praise God. Um, the next one we talk, we went over, this too shall pass. Ah, this too shall pass. This is a statement of hope and it's gotten many people through some of their darkest hours. But guess what, everybody? It's not in the Bible. It is encouraging though. It really is. But just a side note that the first president, I mean, I'm sorry, the 16th president of the United States uh, included it in one of his speeches, but he had his speech writers. He wanted something that was going to carry on, that people was going to remember, and it was going to be in, the, in their hour of need, in the hour of pride. No matter what they were going through, they, they was going to have a hope, and he wanted them to write him a line okay that reflected that in his speech and the words came and said and this too shall pass away and as the years went on from 1859 in the milwaukee wisconsin speech as the as the phrase carried on up through to today they moved the word away they took away the word away and just kept and this too shall pass so we wanted to show you how it evolved and then james cleveland came and made a song out of it mm. this too shall pass praise god so we just want you to see how it wasn't it's not a bible statement but guess what happened some people get it confused with it and it shall come to pass. Those two are two different, totally entirely different statements. Okay. This two, I mean, shall come to pass means it happened or it will happen. Okay. Then we, we listed some of the scriptures and you can go and look at uh, um, the YouTube to look at some of the scriptures where you see it 
came to pass or it must come to pass but regardless on which which way they put it it was either going to happen or it already did so those two phrases are entirely two different things but we're not saying don't say it because it's very encouraging and it's in it's and it's that encouraging statement works at whatever time. So when Abraham Lincoln asks for it, is doing exactly what he meant it to do. Praise God. The next one was the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And we all know that that's one that's been quoted so incorrectly, a constant, constant, constantly. But it's the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly, John 10, 10. So, but we do understand, the one thing we do understand is that the devil is a thief, okay? We get that. So guess what? We know that it can imply this. We don't, we not saying don't say it. We not saying don't don't refer to then say what the devil is trying to do, because guess what? The devil is doing that. He's coming to steal your joy and he's coming to take your peace and all of that. He is doing that. But the scripture, we want to quote the scripture the way it's quoted. Praise God. Then we have the money is the root of all evil. We got clarity on that and we understand that it's the love of it. The love of it. And we went through that a little bit. Uh, more what we can do with money. Guess what? Money is good. Money is excellent. We need it. The things we can do with it, we got to learn it. We can grow it. We can show it. We can bestow it on others. But the love of it, okay? And, and guess what? The, and, and even that part of it, sin is the root of all of it. All of it goes to sin. Sin is the root of all evil, okay? So we just want to quote it correctly. Now we're moving forward. This one that we've heard and we've seen people shout on it and we've heard testimonies. I see we've been growing up just like fire. Shut up in my bones. And y'all know y'all didn't heard the song. What's the song? Just like fire. Shut up in my bones. Just like fire. Shut up in my bones. Now y'all know y'all can help me sing that because y'all didn't heard it and heard it and heard it. Glory to God. But what we want to do is get clarity. Guess what? This statement is in the Bible. This statement is in the Bible. But I think sometimes we apply it in, we un, what we're getting ready to do is get an understanding that you can use it and you can say it because it's a metaphor because you can use it as a metaphor but the the where it originated from is not what you mean okay the metaphor is a figure of speech that describes an object or action in a way that isn't literally true but helps explain an idea or make a comparison this is a metaphoric phrase like fire shut up in my bones is a metaphoric phrase that is often used to describe the intensity that one feels when they are passionate about the holy ghost so we not saying don't use it so don't get me wrong we not saying don't say it but don't 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 we if you're gonna quote it from the bible you got to know where you're quoting it from okay um we want to examine where the phrase come from and how it's really used jeremiah 20 eight through nine for since i spake i cried out i cried violence and spoil because the word of the lord was made a reproach unto me and a derision daily you know sometime you know there are people called jeremiah he's called to 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 prophesy and it was like doom and gloom all the time all the time is whoa and this and that and this and that he was tired of being that person he i ain't saying this no more i don't want to talk about this no i don't want to say nothing first of all they don't believe me they don't like me i'm tired of being an outcast i'm tired of people not liking me i'm tired of people getting mad at what i'm saying okay evangelist clark Praise you, Lord. Praise uh, 
I really enjoyed this. I really enjoy, I'm enjoying this lesson, the whole from, from the beginning up to now. Um, sometimes I think uh, what happens is, and what I feel should never happen is we shouldn't get common with the, with the word of God. Oh, that's a good, that's good, that's good. A lot of times we, we because sometimes we, uh, we generalize it if we're not careful. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we make it, we try to make it fit outside of the word. Mm -hmm. and when and when we try to make it fit in, in and we're not even in the in we're not even in the setting of it like you said when people don't even understand what you're talking about mm -hmm. and we, we you look at people looking at you like wow why why they got to be you know everything got to be a scripture everything got to be something from the bible you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying mm -hmm. and it makes them not want to they'd be like oh that's what it's like i you know but sometimes you don't have to, use, they, you, people use scriptures and all they have to do is have a conversation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. to, 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 to get common with the word, that's something we should never do. Fire shut up in my bones. If we, if you really, under, if people really understood where that is stating from, I wouldn't want to use it because that's talking about something, a birthing that he had to do. And he had to live with it, but it was burning in it. And he, did, you know what I'm saying? So it's certain things that I wouldn't even want to get in common with saying, <laughs> or even try to make it a metaphor. Because this is, it's the word. You don't get common. You don't take the word and use it in a, because a lot of now, now I'm pretty sure everybody can, can attest to this. We've said in different conversations, if somebody that took some, and took it totally out of context because they're trying to make it fit what they need. That's it. That's it. And because they're trying to make it fit what they need now, now they got to sit up and really try to explain it because it was, gotta, not yeah, meant for that. It, was, it was so far left. Yeah. And so you, you, because you're so busy trying to justify what you're doing or, you're, or what you're talking about, you didn't use it out of context. You didn't got common with the word that was use the dictionary to describe what you're talking about. Don't come and try to pull a scripture just because you want to look holy and you know you're wrong. Mm -hmm. So that, but this right here, that I think that, and I just when you because when you can say it as a metaphor, when you can use the definition of a metaphor in this, that means it has been taken out of context. Mm -hmm. Because some of some scriptures in the Bible, you cannot, I don't care how you put it. I don't care how you use the scripture. Somebody looking at you like that, don't know. I wouldn't even have said that. You know, mm -hmm. there's some scriptures you can't do. You just can't even go there with. I would suggest nobody go there with it anyway. <laughs> but I think that's one of the that's one of the problems. People get common with the word of God. Mm -hmm. Praise that's God. It. Thank you. Pastor Lord, praise the Lord. God bless you. Yes. Uh, grace and peace to you all. Listen, I, I'm just going to say this and I'm going to drop the mic. Uh, based off of what Lady P just said and what Evangelist Clark just said, the thought came to my mind. The scripture says that we are not to add nor take away. Mm-hmm. So when you put in a metaphor, you are actually trying to add, are you actually taking away what the scripture is actually saying? Mm -hmm. You cannot substitute the word of God. It is what it is. It says what it says. Mm -hmm. And there's no in between. There's no, there's no compromise so we have done this mm -hmm. amen and, and and a lot of us uh <laughs> need to go back and repent for doing it amen. it might have been in a good it, it could have been in a good fashion way of trying to break it down but you took the word and you did something that God did not authorize us to do. And with that being done, it is, <laughs> it is something that we all 
have to come to realization and say, I've done this. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's yes. It, it. And that, that's why we oh just, that's God. why we yes. touching on it. Yes, because we're all guilty. Mm -hmm. We're all guilty. But if no one bring it to, to your mind and bring it, you know, you'll just keep going. And that is why, you know, sometimes you think you're like, Lord, sometimes, you know, you, you're going to Bible class or you're teaching and stuff. Lord, seem like they didn't heard this before. Mm -hmm. But guess what? That is the reason why we keep having Bible classes. We keep having Sunday schools. You keep studying the word of God because we are growing in grace and we are getting better and we are supposed to improve, get better and learn. You understand what I'm saying? And but once you learn, you shouldn't be doing the same thing. That's the only way you get to meet is that you got to go through the milk. You understand what I'm saying? And once you get past and once you learn something, you should be better. You should be speaking better. But I, I love what you all are saying. And we're going to we're going to go a little further with this one. So you're going to see, you know, a fire where fire is coming from and, and different things like that. Praise God. Yes, evangelist. I'm sorry. I heard something when pa pa Pastor Paul said, and he said you you used it un in an unauthorized way. All right, oh, all right, Lord. all right. I heard unauthorized use. Of <laughs> 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 How many? And I ain't trying to give a message. I, I Paul, I know, <laughs> but I heard it. Mm -hmm. And do you know how many people? Yes. Unauthorized. All right. Are out there trying to use the word of God? Mm -hmm. and that's oh my god i heard that just as clean as day don't don't you know how they had a signs uh, all people that are not authorized you know mm -hmm. unauthorized personnel stay out no mm -hmm. unauthorized personnel just think about that are you authorized <laughs> are you authorized? Just, think, uh, uh, just think about that Praise God. Yeah, praise yeah. God. <laughs> and Stay you know, out of my mess. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny because some people, because they heard it in testimony so much, they were just using it just because they heard somebody else say it and it sounded like they were just really on fire. So it's like fire. Shut them up on. And they'll just say it because they heard somebody else say it. Somebody else could really be meaning the pa the passion that they feel for the Holy Ghost, but then you pick it up and just run it with it because it sounds like a sound good like set statement. It sounds like something I could run with. It'll make people shout. And you just gonna run with that unauthorized. Praise God. So in Jeremiah 20 and 9, it said, Then I said, I will not make mention of him nor speak anymore in his name but his word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones and i was weary with forbearing and i could not stay okay evangelist owens it's hot tonight <laughs> owens she looking for the mute button? I'm sorry. I was just <laughs> thinking of a song. But there comes a time when in doubt, you can ask God. You know, just, just ask him. And he'll make it plain to you. So you can know what you're saying and why you're saying it. And I'm saying that because you know how we sing, none but the righteous, you know, shall see God, right? And I said, wait a minute. Didn't you say, Lord, that even the one that pierced you in your side going to look upon you, you know, going to see you? I'm not quoting, I'm paraphrasing. And I don't believe the one that pierced him in his side was righteous, right? That's right. But uh, every eye, you know? So I said, now if everybody going to see you, Lord, how is it that we singing none but the righteous shall see God? You know, I just thought I asked him. But he answered me and told me in the night season, he gives us a song. He gives people songs. People are inspired. So there's an origin, an origin of that song. The one the Lord gave it to was singing that none but the righteous shall see God in what they're in. I don't know the one who wrote it. God knows the one who wrote it. He is the inspirator, the, in, the one who inspired the one. 
We're just seeing it because it was passed down. Remember the ham, how they trimmed the ham? And everybody kept trimming the ham until somebody finally said, why are we trimming the ham? They didn't realize the other one trimmed it because the pot was too small. But they got bigger pots now. So should we have to keep trimming the ham? We got to go back and see where it came from. That's what we're doing now. Yeah. But even in sayings and songs, it came from a certain place. And we are singing it in a different vein. But if we're singing it in the same vein mm -hmm. or with the same meaning, now, though, though um, it's not biblical, there is an origin that needs to be um, considered as to where it came from. Mm -hmm. And then I'm talking about that song. So when I sing nothing but the righteous shall see God, I understand it's in certain things because of the righteous I or mine. That's what I'm thinking of when I sing it now. So that's something in my heart that I have on my mind when I'm singing. When I sing here, I don't mind waiting. I do mind waiting. So I got to change my own words and say, Lord, help me in waiting. Because Bishop Titus start bringing it to our attention uh don't be singing a lie but we got to go back and check so much <laughs> it's so much you got to be checked so it's it's the it's the it's the intentions of the heart yes, yes. and the origin when i sing what i sing when i sing with an understanding i'm coming from a place that you may not know about but you can sing with me hmm. you know you see what i'm saying but if you like to know, I can tell you where it's coming from. So we don't have all these artists to go back and say, okay, what do you mean? <laughs> okay, where did that come from? So when we sing it in our heart, we have to have our mind in a certain place. Of we, when it, Our mind on a certain thing when we're saying such things like none but the righteous shall see God. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To be accurate, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. That's it. Amen. Because I do mind weight. <laughs> but I got to. <laughs> oh, Brother Troy. Um, and I, I just wanted to add, and, and that's why we should we should always study to show ourselves approved. Because um because the people that we're in a in um Right now, we're 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 in a, we're in a, a place uh, uh, in today's society of information that people are a lot more intelligent. Mm -hmm. um, people are inquisitive. People like to learn, and they're going to question you. And sometimes people get offended off their questions. They have legitimate questions off of, uh, for example, sometimes people say "give it to God." What really they mean is, when, when really they. But, but but what do you mean when you say give it to God? Uh, what, what, what does that really mean? Mm -hmm. If it's really you, you're speaking faith, meaning whatever that thing you have to give to God, faith without works is dead. That means you have to uh, uh, pray, ask God. First of all, you have to through mentally. You have to. Be, you may have to forgive. You have to uh, 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 just do whatever it takes to make sure you don't have nothing in your heart or maybe get poisoned out of you, whatever that is. And it takes more effort some time to just pray it away. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. in other words, somebody lay their hands on you and say, give it to God. And you may, you know, run around the church and shout. That doesn't mean you're over it. You're right. You understand right. what I'm saying? You may have to deal with it the next day. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and then people are, cooking. so what does that mean to give it to God? Mm -hmm. And then you have to be able to explain yourself. Not you be able to explain you it. have to be able to explain yourself in layman's terms. That's mm -hmm. why the Bible says study to show yourself approved. Don't just talk like you're at okay. church. Thank talk you. to people. Talk and to so people. that, and, and so I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying Amen, amen, too, amen. Because you can't just get caught up. Mm-hmm. You can't get caught up in I'm at church. Yes, and that's yes, enough. Yeah. Church jargon rules or I, I mean based on the information that I was hearing like like the other night when I was I went to the Enon thing at, at, at peace. And the people who were speaking, one of the guys who had been in jail, he, he, and he said their kindness kept me here. Their kindness brought me back. 
mm. how they talk to me brought me back because I didn't completely understand what's going on mm-hmm. but because of the way they treated me. Remember that lesson connection in Sunday school where the guy kept coming back because of how he was treated? That's exactly how I was treated. That matters to people. Mm-hmm. So even if they don't clearly understand, don't try to bombard them with a bunch of information that they don't understand. Right. Let them right. hear. God to get through to them. Mm-hmm. Let them preach and preach and, 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 and keep asking God to give you more clarity when you have to teach preach. Mm-hmm. And, and not get caught up into these metaphors. I get caught up into these sayings and people don't really understand what they mean. If you cannot explain yourself saying that you're a Bible scholar, something's wrong with you if you can't clearly explain yourself. When people say faith without works is dead, or when people say, what does it mean to give it to God? First, you got to pray. You need to find out what they believe. Do they believe in God at all? You need to understand right. that. Just can't sure throw it out. Make yeah. sure you don't keep that poison. How do I do that? First of all, forgive them. Because people mm-hmm. understand those words. Use words they understand. Mm-hmm. Qualify what you're saying. And the thing is, that people may get the understanding, and they'll, they, and, 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 and they, and, 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 and they won't get caught up until these old things that we used to say all the time. Mm-hmm. And we didn't understand. I'm a product of that because there was a lot of things I didn't understand growing up when the saints were saying. I don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. And they never, I mean, and I knew they knew what it mean, but you got to talk. You got to remember your audience. And that's, mm-hmm. that's that's another thing about using these terms because you got to remember your audience. You can't forget who you're talking to. Right. That's and it. a lot of these younger kids, whatever, I'm laughing at you or mm-hmm. I don't care or... I'm desensitized to whatever you're saying because of how I was treated for. And, and I really believe that God will give them clarity if we explain it to the best of our ability. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying, so that, that's, that's what I'm getting out of this class. I didn't mean to go that long, but that's what I'm getting out of this class. It's not just, you know, we, we can't get caught up in all this shut up in my boat. They don't know what that means. Right, right. <laughs> we know, if it's just us in the church, is one thing. We know we, we know what certain things mean. Right, right. 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 Look, man, all, I'm, all you're saying is that, that when, when, we, when praises go up and the Lord comes in and dwells, we're going to respond to it. Mm-hmm. And that's all it's saying. We're going to respond to what mm-hmm. God mm-hmm. does for us or what God does in the service and the anointing is coming through. We're right. Going to respond because that's who we are. We have the spirit. But when somebody else is there, sometimes they don't get what's going they don't on. Understand what's going can't on. Talk over okay. people. But anyway, I'm I'm enjoying this class. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you. I'm enjoying the world. <laughs> all the, the input. I love it. I love yes. it. I love it. Uh, um and just I, I'm I'm just I'm loving this. Okay. Um going a little bit further, it said that if what this passage was talking about was the prophet Jeremiah was ready to give up preaching. Mm-hmm. But the message God had burned buried in his heart was so urgent and pressing that he couldn't contain it. Mm-hmm. That that and it the word was in his heart yes. as a burning fire. Mm-hmm. That's what he's saying. Mm-hmm. And the metaphor as a burning fire meant it was so in him, I can't, you know how that there's another song that I couldn't keep to myself. Mm-hmm. Thought I wasn't gonna tell nobody, mm-hmm. but I couldn't keep it to myself. Mm-hmm. It was just that is a metaphor mm-hmm. a, a, to describe the passion mm-hmm. that was in him that he had to get it out. Yeah. He didn't have a choice. Mm-hmm. It had to come out. And so, uh, uh, so we wanted to get an understanding of where that even came mm-hmm. from. Okay, yes, evangelist. Real quick, you made me think when you said the song. I said I wasn't gonna tell nobody, but I. Mm-hmm. That's lying. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna tell nobody, but I did. Mm-hmm. All right. Loose lips. <laughs> I mean, is this a song of victory? Okay, joy. I see. No, he. They were talking like Jeremiah was talking. I ain't talking. Right. No, I get none. it. I get it. But look mm-hmm. at the. I'm talking literal, literally mm-hmm. what we're saying. I get. I get the essence. Ooh, I, I try not to say nothing. I'm trying oh, to. Oh, God was so good. I just had to say something. I just want to be. 
But, you know, but, but I said little... that too. I talk too much and I'm I'm not talking at all. But then the, the word gets so good, it gets so good until I gotta right. say no. a little bit. Gotta say a little bit. That, yeah. That's where it's coming from. <laughs> that's that's coming what from. That, that's the meaning. Mm -hmm. But the actual language used mm -hmm. to convey, mm -hmm. I said mm -hmm. I wasn't gonna tell nobody. But I, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I said I wasn't gonna say nothing, but I did. <laughs> but I, did. <laughs> I, I don't have the victory of my life. <laughs> I'm just speaking of the literal, the literal word. sense. Right, yes. Right. Okay. I, I said I wasn't, but I did. But I did. <laughs> I mean, I get, I get the reason. So mm -hmm. thank God we know the essence of it. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we singing that we lie. That's the whole So, so <laughs> thanks, Evangelist. The um, one thing we what? So now we gonna break it down a little bit. We just gonna break it down a little bit. Is fire associated with the spirit of God? Yes. yes. Okay, Matthew three and eleven. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the shaft with unquenchable fire. And then we have Acts 2, 3-4. Say, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So just be, because fire is associated with the Holy Ghost, we don't want to place our own meaning into the text. That's what we're trying to say. It could become harmful to the hearer. And this is in, in what uh, Brother Troy was saying. It can become harmful to the hearer who do not know that's now how it's read in the Bible. That's it. Yes, yes. So you take that piece of that and you put it with this and then you make a theory on it mm -hmm. and, and, and a statement. And so we just want to understand. So when if we're saying it, we need to be saying it with an understanding and make it make sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. We speak with knowledge and understanding. Mm -hmm. Is it wrong to say? No, because we understand where it's coming from. But understand the context in which it came from. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 4 and 7 say, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding and that's what brother Troy was just saying we don't want to be talking over people here mm -hmm. so we standing there saying oh it's like fire should have money they wonder what we talking about mm -hmm. but then you you break the metaphor down don't just yes. always talk mm -hmm. in cliches mm -hmm. you know I feel God I mean whatever mm -hmm. you know you understand what I'm saying but when you in mixed crack company mm -hmm. and they have no clue of church jargon yes. as brother Troy was saying mm -hmm. don't speak over people mm -hmm. here Titus 2 and 1 said, but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. So that's what we want to come away from this cl with clarity. Fire is associated with the Holy Ghost. But that particular text was not about the Holy Ghost fire. It was about the word that was in him that he was insisting he wasn't going to say. That's it. But the passion and the burning yes. in him, and he used the metaphor of this like fire, shut up because he could not contain it and he could not hold it, yes. and he had to do yes. what God said Fair do. Yeah. So we all have clarity on that one. Yeah, I know y'all knew already, but we just getting clarity for whoever is coming behind us. Mm -hmm. So they understand. They say, well, well, what? it's not, did they, they say the, the Holy Ghost is like fire? Yeah, but we need to go there and talk about the fire that right. that was associated with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. This was not yes, that. Yes. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. Now, 
Here go the, the y'all see my little flying paper. <laughs> Hopefully y'all had a chance to see my flying paper. Uh, <laughs> because we getting ready to touch on try the spirit mm. by the spirit. So did you see the paper fly away into it? <laughs> okay. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether mm -hmm. they are of God, mm -hmm. colon, because mm -hmm. many false prophets are going out into the world, okay. First John 4 and 1. Mm -hmm. Are y'all following me? Mm -hmm. Try the spirit by the spirit. Mm -hmm. How long we been hearing that? It's been a while, mm -hmm. huh? Now, because we've heard it said repeatedly, mm -hmm. what happens when, uh, when sometimes you didn't hear, you heard something so many times, so that when you read it, mm -hmm. you end up seeing what you heard and not actually the words you see. Mm -hmm. So then it becomes misquoted. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is how a lot of things are. It becomes misquoted because you using what you heard and you just brush over the words yes. because you reading it by memory of mm -hmm. what you heard. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So it says, <coughs> try the spirits, mm -hmm. whether they are of God. Yes. Now, let's break it down a little further. Who can try the spirit? Spirit-filled believers seeking the truth of God's word and desiring to grow in Christ according to the principles of scripture. E see, see, we, we, let, let's just say the Holy Ghost is a discerner of the spirits. The Holy Ghost gives you, uh, um, it lets you know what's talking, but guess what? There are some people that's not even in tune that have the Holy Ghost, okay? So I want to uh, uh, highlight the part that says seeking the truth of God, seeking the 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 uh, uh, the desiring to grow in God, the knowledge of God, seeking that you know when you get to understand somebody that's in tune with God, what must not believe everything we hear from alleged anointed prophets, teachers, etc. You must test the claims and actions of these religious healers, whisperers, and all other spirits. What we're looking at is you have a lot of people saying a lot of things. You got a lot of deep people, people that do a lot of meditation, a lot of moaning, a lot of this, a lot of that. It's a lot of stuff, especially during COVID. You had a lot of stuff coming up during oh, COVID. Mm -hmm. You know, so so it's like, that sounds good. Maybe I'll try that. That sounds relaxing. Maybe that'll try that. That's getting me more spiritual. That's taking my mind up a little higher. Mm -hmm. That's getting me so deep. They think because they can sit and be quiet and sit and do this. That's getting them so deep but you must test the claims and the actions because many false prophets are going yes. out into the world mm -hmm. just because it sounds good mm -hmm. just because it sounds organic just because it sounds natural mm -hmm. we have to uh, uh, not believe every spirit okay mm -hmm. It's flying away again. <laughs> Evangelist Clark. Praise the Lord. Uh, sorry, something happened with my virtual background. That's why I turned the thing off. It's showing the green screen. Sorry. So <laughs> it's coming together, but it just zapped out on me. Um, the <laughs> thing, what, <laughs> what I'm thinking is, uh, we, we, uh, we have to understand discernment. And you gotta, you gotta, that's why you gotta keep, keep your connection with God. You got to be, you got to, you can't just say you, you, you got a connection with God. You, that's something people say is, people say that all the time. You get what I'm saying? That's almost like a cliche that they got a connection with God and they got, oh man, God, uh, 
you know, I'm, I'm in tune with the spirit of God. I mean, uh, they, and it's like, if you were so in tune with the spirit of God, how come you didn't see that demon right there? But the thing is, when you, when you are in tune to God, when you hear something, when you hear something that's supposedly supposed to be from God, you'll hear his voice delivering the word. Now, I didn't had people, I didn't had uh, different times, I didn't had people say stuff to me. I know God didn't say it. I didn't, I wasn't rude. I let him finish. I said, well, God didn't say nothing to me. Mm -hmm. And it was like, oh, well, he, you know, you, it didn't mean because the minute you say something like that, they get all discombobulated because you didn't just believe what they said. So now they got to try to explain it and justify it. Some people that they get thrown off. Mm -hmm. But my spirit, if God, the, the, the connection I have with God, I'm in tune with him. So if, if something comes to me, if something comes to me that's not of him, something ought to resonate in your spirit that it ain't of him. Now, I don't know if this, that, this slide is in there. He said, my sheep know my voice. Right. <laughs> and another day would not fall. So it's like, if I'm in tune with God and he's talking to me, if he's using a vessel to talk to me, I'm going to know it's him. But then here it is. You, you have to, you have to try the spirit by the spirit and see if it is of God, because he just said by the too many people come <laughs> Huh? What you say? You just said by the spirit. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> no, I read. I was reading the, the thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, the, because so many people come and they say things, and if you not that, this is a self check. This is a self check scripture, really. That's for me. I don't know if it's for anybody else, but it's a self check self check scripture for me because if it's telling me to try it, then I got to be in tune with God in order to make sure it is of God. Mm -hmm. But if I'm not, if I'm not sitting here and I'm not, if I didn't got, I got a loose connection somewhere. And, and mind you said, it's in, 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 in mom, I'm going to say this in the beginning of, in the beginning of when first year being saved, you know, everybody want to come and say what they, they see the Lord, where, which way the Lord's directing you. Hello. And sometimes I had to tell people, look, I grew up in this. Not just because I grew up in it don't mean I, I'm just so in tune to God that I can, you know, that can't nobody do this and any other. But because when, when it's not like I saw what God did and, and, and because of my belief, and how I was raised and everything. When I got the Holy Ghost, one of the main things I said, I said, Lord, keep me one step ahead of the enemy. Mm -hmm. I got to stay there because of what, what I came out of. I got to stay there. Why? Because any it, it, things come dressed up. Things come different. Pre you got preach God. I, I hate to say this, but you got preachers that coming and trying to entice people back into that lifestyle. So you, you, I got to stay. Even if they don't, I got to stay in the face of God. I got to keep my connection right. Cause when that spirit comes, I got to be able to decipher if it's God or them. So, and, and I ain't got to really, it depends. I thank God because I don't have to see them do something stupid, you know, even though you you do, you know, you, you can see and say, ooh, I don't even know why they did that because over here they was doing that. But I thank God because of the, 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 the discernment, the height of discernment. And, and I ask God to increase it. That's always been my prayer, increase it. Keep me one step ahead of the enemy because I don't want, I don't like everybody laying hands on me. First of all, because I believe in transferring the spirits and I ain't trying to have that either. So these are things that when you when you dealing with that scripture, all of these things got to be heightened up right here because it's a self-check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's it. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to quote the scripture wrong no more. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I don't like, I, I tell you, I, want that. I am so serious. I asked God to help me with, you know, with that stuff. Cause I could tell people, I could, a lot of scriptures, I could tell you what to say. But when they say, oh, where is it? Up. Uh, <laughs> and I'll be so upset with myself because the, 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 where it is, it had to die, you know, they come to. So, but then when I look at this and I say, what? Because I got, I'm serious. Y'all, I think y'all was there. I got caught up saying this one time. Uh -huh. I got in the kitchen mm -hmm. and that person tried to just cut him, but he was, they was, they was, it was at Sister David's funeral. And the guy was looking for anything to correct somebody. Mm -hmm. Correct somebody. And, be, and he said something and I, and I, I said, no, the scripture said, da, da. and he said, that's not what that scripture said. Da, da, da. And I just, I, before I knew it, he just went in and I said, okay, lady. Okay. So I have to, I had to ask God to give me what to say because he was correcting what Some he people, said. And people right. are, but he was in the wrong spirit of yes. correction. Right. That's it. That's it. That yeah. devil so had people to out there to do that. Instead yes. Instead of trying to tell him that ain't what the scripture say, because that is what the scripture said, what he said. But I had to deal with the the spirit of when she came. Spirit in which it was coming, right? So I could tell, it wasn't right. Just, it didn't tell me he was wrong what he said, but I had to deal with what why you came to do this. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's it. So now when I did now that, you're living out the scripture, right. whether it be of uh, right. There you go. Yes. And so yes. when I dealt with that part, that's mm -hmm. when you shut up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you came to try to show somebody up because mm -hmm. you didn't like the way Sister Davis lived. Mm -hmm. See, this is coming from from the life of Sister Davis. They coming for just she, as if she was wrong in her living. Mm -hmm. So here it is. You want to get everybody that was a part of her church that was living like so. Now you want to come come with some correct scripture. Uh, that's what. Mm -hmm. But the spirit in which you came in. No mm -hmm. That's. And I problem. had to deal. I had to deal with that. God had to mm -hmm. come. I mean, download real quick because I had to deal with the spirit. But I knew He was right in what He said as far as. Quoting the, the, the quoting of it, yes. Now you can you have a bunch of people that can quote mm -hmm. the scripture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They 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 learn the Bible just to tell you, yeah, just to correct it. you, just to debate. And one thing mm -hmm. I don't do is debate the scriptures, but they will learn it just for that. That's mm -hmm. it, just for that reason. And so he came in that spirit, mm -hmm. but God had to tell me, no, deal with this spirit. Don't forget the forget what you misquoted. Mm -hmm. forget, forget that part deal with the spirit because mm -hmm. he's trying to make it like a whole big old fallout so deal mm -hmm. with it right now that's what i did and it shut it down but i thank god for that because i actually lived this mm -hmm. and i said god from that time, i said god help me with these scriptures mm -hmm. <laughs> i was so upset with myself and i said god, help me with these scriptures i mean i mean you have you you had stuff on the tip of your tongue and then as soon as you open your mouth to say it blah 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 blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. It ain't nothing like what was in your head. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I mean, I just asked God to help me, but yeah, I lived this scripture. I did. I actually lived out that right there. Wow, that was a good yeah, example. Good example. Evangelist mm -hmm. ones. Owens. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah, I re I recall that situation. Yes, there too. I do too. And you have to know when it, what is what is even discussed is it profitable in the first place. Mm -hmm. But that that's why in this statement is try the spirit. Mm -hmm. And then dealing with a spirit, mm -hmm. sometimes you're not going to even make no sense. You know, spirit don't have to make sense. Don't have to have reason. It's a spirit. Mm -hmm. So once you once the Holy Ghost reveal a spirit, the kind of spirit is present, He'll let you know if you even need to go any further mm -hmm. you may just say don't say nothing yeah and now that's what i was i was i had originally clicked uh raised my hand to say mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i had a case where i honestly didn't hear nothing wrong this is why i know the holy ghost is a keeper mm -hmm. i someone was talking to me and they i honest to god i didn't hear anything wrong that they said but the Lord wanted to teach me something. So he literally turned the volume down of their voice while they were talking to me. I was standing right in the back of the church. And I was so caught up in the fact that God just did a miracle in front of my face. Their voice is gone and their mouth is still going. Mm -hmm. 
So mm -hmm. I, I'm shocked at that. So they thought they really had my attention by my expression. However, when the Lord did that, I heard the, like the evangelist Clark said, know his voice. Mm -hmm. I heard the Lord on the inside mm -hmm. tell me, this is not me. Yeah. Do not agree. So then he turned the person's voice back up. So I'm amazed at that miracle. I don't even know what, I, didn't, I never knew what they were talking about. I was amazed at the miracle, but the keeper, mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost, the one that know the spirits, he just spoke to me when I had no clue because I didn't hear anything negative. But I found out later, if I just agreed, I would have been caught up in something. Mm -hmm. Who knew that but the spirit All right. that is of God? Mm -hmm. See, try the spirit to see if it's of God. The Holy Ghost in me knew that spirit in which that person came in. Yes. Mm -hmm. But me, I'm just a pawn in here. I'm, I'm, I'm just here. So I had to be killed by the Lord because I didn't have a clue. Mm -hmm. so there are times when you will not know but the spirit of the lord raises up a standard mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying so he's a keeper mm -hmm. but what was it tried the spirit was tried mm -hmm. not the words that were spoken because there was nothing wrong that i could hear words. in the statement mm -hmm. so it it was the spirit mm -hmm. that was being tried now the the as far as words like this man coming to 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 check Evangelist Clark line for line, letter for letter, the devil knew the word. He was up in heaven. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah knew it very well. Mm -hmm. Satan knows the word. Mm -hmm. So therefore, he in the garden he tripped Eve up with the word. Yes, yes. So he hasn't stopped his same tricks. Mm -hmm. There are no new tricks. He's coming with the word mm -hmm. so it's the spirit he, he will come quality better than we with the spirit of god have mm -hmm. so you know uh i look at how uh, eve once once she said to, to the uh, uh serpent he said that we couldn't touch the tree i said oh boy there she missed it there interpretation the devil can sense when you know it and if you don't mm -hmm. and he listens for it and he listened for it with Eve, too, because God did not tell Adam he couldn't touch the tree. He told him to dress the garden and keep it anyway, right? But he said, don't eat of the tree. So here you got this spirit waiting for any little inkling. Mm -hmm. See, it's not about the letter. It's not about the accuracy. It's about the spirit. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to be careful for, because that devil, he knows the, he know the word. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Whether you quote it right or not, what spirit is it coming from? Mm -hmm. Because it might not even be profitable to re to even re remain in a conversation. Mm -hmm. I ain't wasting my time. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's right. My what 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 God has given me is precious. I don't need to waste my time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not profitable. That's all. Praise Good. God. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Boy, I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. And I was I was loving it too because what the evangelist all, all of you said there because here it is you can know the word and and like you say you have a lot of people like you say that know it inside out and but again the motive and because of the motive ain't motive ain't right they're not gonna be able to live it first of all and it's gonna end up showing just like like evangelist was saying how the one uh, young man when he was he he was waiting for that little that little line that little a little spot to hear that oh you didn't say this right or whatever and he's ready to jump on it so it shows right there the mo you know his motive was totally wrong it, it shows it comes out even when he don't realize it comes out it shows where he's at but I want but uh but I was uh, also had in John here sixteen. It says how it says how be when the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive a mind and shall show it unto you. And it says here of all things that the Father have are mine. No, not, not, went too far but mainly it says here at the beginning of verse number 13 how be it when the spirit of truth has come 
He will guide you into mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. truth. Glory to God, mm -hmm. for he shall not speak of himself. My God, and that's it. And, and the Lord, we thank God, like I said, because the Spirit, he would guide us into all truth, and it would teach us in, in, in things, you know, what to say and how to say it as well, you know. And so I thank God for, you know, you know, you know because like I say, if we allow him to lead us, that's what he would do, guide us, lead us and guide us into all truth. Praise God. I'm enjoying every, what everyone oh, is saying. Y'all you, right in the lesson and, and we, we getting a good understanding of the scripture. Um, and so um, it says here, when do we, it's, you know, because the first part of the scripture is try the spirit to see whether it be. And so say, when do I do this? These mm. are some rhetorical questions. When do I do this? It says here, when you are hungry for a word, and when you are hurting, grieving, etc., don't always assume God is trying to tell you something. The enemy takes liberties when we're vulnerable. That's it. Mm -hmm. So yes. a lot of times, a lot of times, that's when uh, uh, you got a lot of prophet people coming in, and they you got the false prophets. Say you go to a, a, a big meeting, a church meeting, you know, where a lot of people and got visiting visitors coming in and all that, they kind of, the, that spirit will assess and look around to see who this, and they listening, you know, and then all of a sudden I got a word for you because he done heard you say something. Right. So now you got a word. You, you understand what I'm saying? So sometimes when you are vulnerable, that's when yes. that spirit yes. will try to attack you. So now I got to try to see whether it's of God. Mm -hmm. God is not always trying to tell me something just because something is happening. Mm -hmm. Sometimes something is just happening. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so then where, where can this happen? At home, in church, school, mm -hmm. listening to the radio, mm -hmm. TV, social media, private meditation, where, wherever the spirit presents itself, you have to be found trying the spirit whether it's of god you don't just jump quick mm -hmm. you listen okay. you pay attention mm -hmm. you got to be aware mm -hmm. allow god to to give you discernment mm -hmm. why is it necessary to do this because many false mm -hmm. prophets are going out into the yes, world yes. and you hear them everywhere you hear them on tv you got to know what you're looking at because all of a sudden you start hearing something it's like oh, i don't want to watch that no that's okay he, he can he can go on to save that one I, I don't need to hear that you know and god will just alert you you know like eh, no that's not that's not something i want to hear say because your adversary the devil wants you to doubt the word mm -hmm. misquote the word so you can mistrust the word. So we can't find ourselves doubting the word. Now, how do you try the spirit? By the word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was God. The word is God. And everything, all of it, God. He is the word. Yes. So pastor just read the scripture that when he's come, he's going to bring you into truth. So what does the word say? Is it lining up with the word? Is it agreeing with God? Uh, God seem, seems like my experiences that I've had with him. He sets his approval when it's him. When it's him saying move, when it's him saying do. He sets his approval. He brings his anointing. Does that mean I'm shouting and ah, no, not all the time, but he gives you a confirmation that it's him. Some kind of way or another, he, he can speak a word in your spirit to let you know it's him. So however he does it, you will know it's him. Praise God. Or if he's like, like Evander so and said, it's not worth my time. Let it, you don't, don't even say nothing. Walk away. Ignore this. Don't cast your pearls before swine because that's not me. Don't work that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't say that. Don't even entertain that. It could be just that simple where I don't have to preach to you. I don't have to teach to you. I don't entertain it because it's not of God. 
And today he's saying, don't even entertain it. Even, Brother Troy. And just to add to that, it, 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 ask God for discernment, but when in doubt, talk to your pastor. You get you going further into the lesson. <laughs> talk to your pastor. <laughs> That's there. Ask yes. questions. You ask the question. And, and, and if you're in doubt, yes. Talk to your pastor. Don't mm -hmm. get caught up in what anybody's saying. Because God ain't gonna never tell anybody to do anything that's contrary to his it's word. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. It's not if, if it's contrary to the word of God. You know that's an automatic no. It ain't it. Automatic no. He ain't going to tell you to do nothing crazy nor weird. And mm -hmm. I, like I said, talk to your pastor. Mm -hmm. And then if you want the pastor to talk to that person and have somebody, you know, I mean, just somebody that you know can mm -hmm. just know what's going on, mm -hmm. do that. Do everything you can to, 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 to make sure you have a healthy walk with God. Thank, thank you. Healthy. We talking healthy. about healthy, healthy things. Yes. Word. I love it. I love it. And you you write you write in line with the lesson. Here it says, if things go against what the Bible teaches, so you, mm. you you right there. You right mm. there. If if a thing goes against what the Bible teaches, that thing is the wrong thing. Sure. It's just that simple. Uh -huh. If it goes against the word. It wasn't of God. Do not rely solely on sense impressions to determine whether a thing is of God. So don't rely on the fact that, ooh, I got a tingle. Ooh, I got a chill. You understand? I, I hear that a lot. Ooh, I got a chill. Ooh, it chilled me. You know, don't, don't, don't rely on that. According to the author of the book, this is from him, if you are a teacher or a preacher, if it ain't on the page, it ain't on the stage. <laughs> All right. Oh, Lord. And in the Amplified, okay, John 4 and 1 says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, speaking through a self-proclaimed prophet. Instead, test the spirit to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets and teachers have gone out into the world. It's just that simple. Ways you can't go wrong. Okay. That's what I'm saying. You right in line, Brother Troy. You, 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 it's like you look, you look further onto the the the, the screen. Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not into their own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct that path. And you know, we've had this lesson over and over and over again. And we always equate this. Uh, Dr. Shepard taught us in class that the way to please God is to commit this scripture to memory. Trust. If you follow this scripture, you will please God. You will stay aware. You will stay in tune. 2 Timothy 2.15 says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You all had already said that. So we, we're on the same page. Praise God. Then here it says, ways you can't go wrong again. 1 John 4 and 6, we are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth us not. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. John 10 and 5 says, And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. And I think Evangelist Owens was saying that. John 14 and 17 says, Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. And that one you just read, or something with the spirit of truth, you was. You, you're in the, not, not the same line because it seeth him not neither knoweth him but ye know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you and and brother Troy, here you go consult your pastor <laughs> jeremiah three fifteen says and i will give you pastors according to my heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding this is a spiritual matter you can't just do it on your senses this is a spiritual matter we cannot uh, attack this 
carnally. When we're talking about the spirits uh, uh, to see whether they are of God, we don't want to be attacking stuff carnally because God is not a carnal God. He is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So when we dealing with God, we're dealing with a holy God that's a spirit, a spiritual. And so if you're going to try a spirit, you need to be trying it with the one that knows all the spirits. Glory to God. To whether to see if they him. God, is this you? Let's just break it down. God, is this you? And when he know you really want to know, now you're not just trying to get a scapegoat. You're not just trying to make excuses. You're not just trying to slide out of nothing. You really want to know. Guess what? He's going to let you know. Because he is that kind of God. Because his intentions is that we make it and that we live a holy life. And that we are free to become what he wants us to become. Mm -hmm. He wants us to hear him and know him so that we won't follow any and everything. That we will be strong. We won't be thrown and tossed to and fro Glory with every God, wind sir. and doctrine. Glory to God. He yes. is intentionally keeping us. So we have to intentionally seek him to be kept. Praise God. Praise God. And and yes. our next one, if anybody don't have any more questions, Pastor, you have something no, no, on this one? So so uh, everybody was on the same page with this one, and I, I love it because now we got the essence of Scripture. If we forget how to quote it, we just stop and say, hmm, child spirit, whether it's of God. <laughs> And just stop right there. And then go get this, go get the Bible and see the rest of it. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So, 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 uh, uh, we, <laughs> uh, so because, you know, we, we all do, shoot, we getting older. We have quoting <laughs> issues. <laughs> yes. But we know we're trying to say, we know we're trying to say, Glory praise God. God. Uh, we're going to make the end right here, but I want to just give you a teaser. Yeah. teaser. Um, for the next go round, touch and agree. All right, all right, all right. That's we getting ready to get some standard. clarity that's on the, touch and agree. That's the quote. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Now you know it's COVID, mm -hmm. and everybody trying not to touch anybody. Mm -hmm. So if that was the case, we'd be having some serious problems right about now. Mm -hmm. If everything was hindering on touching. Mm -hmm. So we gonna do start there next week. If the Lord say the same, we gonna talk about touching and agreeing. Wow, wow, wow. So we got some good good Ooh. stuff coming, y'all. So we gonna end right here, oh and uh, um, thank y'all for your participation. And before we end, we wanna remind everybody about the VBS on um, Friday. That's coming up at 730 at the church. We're looking forward to that. And also on Saturday, um, we will be uh, joining um, Greater Works Apostolic um, for their summit. Um, that's going to be from three to six. And the, um, I will be uh, sending out the flyer for that. But it's from three to six and they're having a summit. And this is going to be really awesome because um, before they had the symposium and that was really good. And so this is their first time back out trying to get it get it all together um, since COVID, and they're very excited about it. So we are going to um, go over and enjoy uh, fellowshipping with them in the summit, which is Saturday from three to six. Friday night, 7.30, the Vacation Bible, the, a day of Vacation Bible School, right. where we're looking at steam in the Word, mm, right. <laughs> with Evangelist Owens being our facilitator, so we look forward to that, and I will be sending out flyers for the both of those as reminders. So, God bless you. Turn it back into the hands of the pastor. Hope you enjoyed tonight. Oh, my God. Praise the Lord. Thanks. Glory to God. We enjoyed it. Beautiful lesson. Uh and it's just getting better and better because we allow us to be able to see uh, different phrases, different things that we have said over the years. And you know, and you know, you and this, and uh, you figure you you you, <laughs> you figure this this right, and then you realize and test that is you you know you're close, but it's not right. It's not in the Bible. <laughs> Glory to God. And so it's good to know 
it's good to know. It's good to know the truth and good to know what the word is saying. So that way, you know, for us, when, it, when you're able to go and not, not just able to know it, but you can direct someone else to it as well. And you will say, my God, I've been saying this all this time and it's been several words off and it can change things just up, just like that too, just like that. Because, because uh, first of all, we know that it's in a context, you know, and, and we want to be able to be able to be, be in the context of what the phrase is saying. So again, we thank God for this lesson. Thank God for all of us. You know, everything, everything has been said, the ones who was able to add in, you know, for, um, their, their, their opinions and their points and, and the word. Thank God for all of us. But, but it's, this is a very, very, very informative lesson. And again, like I was talking about earlier, with all I get it, get an understanding. Glory to God. So again, we thank God for each and every one. Thank God for the ones that's going to come on later and be able to see it. And again, we just thank God. This is it's just, thank God. This is very helpful to us all to our walk. At this time, we get ready to close. I'm ex brother Troy if he's able to close us out and be blessed, saints. Thank you, for um, my manager. Um, pray for my uh, Father in Jesus name, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the night, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for keeping us, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this Bible class, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for informing us, Lord, of how to handle the word of God, we thank you, Lord, uh, for, for, for allowing us just to, to, to just allow us, Lord, to keep the hunger for you, Lord, just to help us, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for helping us yes. to keep this hunger to you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the knowledge that you have yes. to give to us, Lord. Thank you for the understanding, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the ability to continue to try to make things clear for people, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for, for giving us the ability to take your word seriously, Lord. Thank yes. you, Lord, for the continued work. Thank you, Lord, for the continued strength, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord, for the Jesus. In us, Lord, in this interview, your will, despite the situations, yes. despite the problems that we are having, Lord, despite everything we're going through, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for giving us perseverance, Lord, the determination, Lord, the strong will to keep following you, Lord. And we ask you, Lord, to continue to bless us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Us, Lord. And to help us keep that drive in you, Lord. Lord. To just make it, Lord, to make heaven, yes, Lord. Yes, Help yes, us, Lord, yes, to continue yes. to walk in you, Lord. Hallelujah, because we love you, Lord. Yes. Walk in this passion, Lord, that we have for you. Continue to help us, Lord, to help somebody else, Lord, the right way with the right attitude, Lord. And we give your name the glory. Hallelujah. We give your Hallelujah. name the glory. Lord, continue to touch the sick, Lord. Continue to be a standard of us. Continue to touch, Lord. Hallelujah. Bring yes. them back, Lord, stronger, yes. Lord. Yes. Lord, we love you. Mm. We honor you, Lord. Touch Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, Lord. Continue to touch his body, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. In the name Lord. Of Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. His health, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelah. The blood of Jesus is a gift. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank, Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is Glory. trying to kill us. Hallelujah, because we love you. Yes. He's trying to destroy us. Hallelujah. Because we want to serve you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 To protect us, Lord, every step of the way. Yes. Hallelujah. We ask you, Lord. Hear the most thunder. Hallelujah. Hear the most thunder. Hear the most thunder. Lord, hear the most thunder. Hear the most thunder. Continue to bring the yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory. Yes. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you,
Yes. Strengthen their bodies, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The ones that are out there, Lord, not living right, Lord, doing what they want to do and not understanding, Lord, the sign of the times, not understanding mm -hmm. how serious everything is, not understanding that their lives are in danger every single day. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to bring them back, Lord, whatever you have to do, Lord, bring them back. Bring them back, Lord. Bring them back. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. The, the time yeah. is being wasted, Lord. Time is being yes. wasted. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And we give your name the glory. The glory. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give your name the honor. Yes. Hallelujah. Thunder. He can have a thunder. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. And we love you. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Many, 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 many. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Glory to God. Have your way, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Be blessed. Glory to God. God bless you. Sweet sleep. Yes.